hello everyone welcome to YRR help um, today I'm gonna show you how to create a simple restful web service in PHP um, this is going to be a very simple tutorial um, so get along with me um, so this is a web service which we're going to create now it's very simple um, your domain name and then your parameters so here if you notice um, I'm accessing price of that particular book here 348 is the price here um, for that particular C language book and if I, if, I if I request Java it will respond with particular price so this is the web service and if I try to access some uh, random book which is not available in database uh, it should return run so here <laughs> it, it returned null um, so saying message no content found so this is a web service which we are going to create and before diving into code let me explain what is web service and why do we need to create a web service uh, so basically most of the people will confuse with uh, what is a website and what is a web service so here is a simple and basic difference between website and web service so website will if you try to request a website it will respond in html format and these requests are done by human beings via clients like web browsers or something else so th that's about websites and when it comes to web service these are not meant for human beings I mean human beings won't directly access web service um, these are accessed by some other programs and the response will be in JSON or XML format so here XML and JSON will be message format between um, se sender and requester so basically these web services are used to communicate between heterogeneous systems um, say for example if you have a um, android app and you want to communicate with other platforms like php websites or any windows app um, you're going to respond with json format or either xml format so that's the way how communication done between two platforms via web service so basically there are uh, two ways of creating these web services um, the first thing is so protocol and json sorry restful architecture and uh, I have done a video on SOAP protocol. If you guys are interested in SOAP protocol, go and check my playlist. And now I'm going to concentrate on RESTful web service. Um, so create a PHP file. Uh, uh, this is going to be a web service. Uh, sorry, RESTful web service. So, so the first basic thing you need to do is uh, to process the client request. So first thing is process client request. Um, as I told you client will request via URL um, request will be via URL so you need to process that URL first and basically URL will be something like this so as I told you this is the uh, um, URL structure for my web service um, after some time I will modify this URL for user friendly but right now stick to this format and now I'm going to process this um, URL so first of all I'm going to check whether the request is empty or not I mean uh, name of the book is empty or not so if not empty of so first of all save this file so I'm going to save this file in rest folder um, and I'm going to call it as index.php um, so if not empty of so it's going to be get request format so if the request is not empty then we are going to process something so just in case if request is empty or request format is incorrect um, we are going to throw uh, we are going to set headers as um, invalid request something like that invalid request um, and then so we are going to process our functions here so this is where our core functions goes if the name is correct so first of all we're going to uh, retrieve that book price so here I have created a function here so in this function uh, you don't need to worry about this function this is not really related to rest service this is my core function uh, so this is a book array which holds a book name and book price here I have three values and this um, this loop here will iterate to each and every 
um, element of this array and it will find for that particular request so this is the find is a name of the book which we want the price and it will return with price so this is a basic fun functionality of this function so I'm going to check um, and so first of all I'm going to retrieve that uh, request so I'm not sanitizing input here if you're implementing in real world you may want to sanitize inputs and then and I need price so I'm so here I have a function here um, get price so first of all save this in my root directory uh, rest folder and I'm going to call it as functions.php so we have a function which is get price which will return the price of that particular book so price is equals to get price of that particular book name so here we go this name is the book name which is requested by client here either C Java or whatever it may be and we are retrieving that request here name and then we are using this function get price to get the price of this function so now the price in the price is in um, this price variable now you can return this price to client but before returning directly we are going to check whether the price is empty or not so if the price is empty which means the book is not available so we're going to throw a error message saying book not found something like that so just in case if book is so sorry if the price variable is empty we're going to say like uh, book not found and else we're going to respond with book price respond with book price so this is uh, the basic thing and the next thing is you need to sorry not found so the next thing is you need to find a way to deliver the response as I told you response delivery will be in either JSON or XML format but uh, at this standard JSON is very simple and lightweighted most of the people are using JSON so I'm also going to use JSON here so I'm going to create a separate function for the deliver response so separate function so as I told you don't uh, you should not respond in HTML format the response will be in JSON deliver response of the first thing is status code uh, I'm not going to explain about status codes and those things here because those are basics of rest you go and check it somewhere um, status message and the actual data um, so so this is the this is a function which will deliver the response and um, the response um, not only contains the price and it also contains status mes status message is like uh, whether the request is valid or not whether the response is found or not uh, so those status messages so I'm going to set a header for that um, header saying 1.1 1 .1 or 1.0 status and then status message Sorry. so I has so this is header now and as I told you these three variables need to be formatted in JSON so I'm going to store these three variables in a simple array called response so I'm going to store these three variables in a response array status is equals to and we are going to encode this array into json json format and then second thing is status message and then final thing is actual data still you can implement lot of things as i told you this is a very basic 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 um, architecture sorry i mean basic implementation if you are going to implement in real world you may want to add lot of features to this code 
and the final thing is I'm going to encode this into JSON format so this is the main difference between a um, website and web service instead of responding in HTML format um, you're going to respond in uh, JSON so JSON encode is an inbuilt function in PHP so I'm going to encode this response array and that's simple JSON and spot. So that's it. Very simple. And uh, before delivering a response, uh, make sure that your headers are set in JSON format. So you can uh, either respond in XML format. Um, that depends on your necessity. Content, C Y N T E N T. Content type, um, application on JSON. Or else XML, that's up to you. So here, so we're just going to use this function which we are created now. Deliver response of it will accept three parameters. The first one is status. Two hundred means okay, and status message will be that's up to you. Um, let's say book found, and with that price. Uh, sorry actually this is a uh, empty price right so we're going to say book not found and we're going to respond with null data and the same thing here we're going to respond book price here saying book found and with actual book price and here we have another instance where if the request is not valid at the time we're going to say I think 400 invalid request and null data as usual so this is the basic web service um, first first of all we have processed our client request uh, I mean URL so we're going to check whether the valid URL is valid or not and the we have if the method is available or not and then we are responding with particular uh, response and I have created a separate function for delivering a response which which converts entire message into single array and then single array to JSON and we want to set handles here so so this is very simple and so let me check this first so localhost rest so in my case name is equals to C so here I have some error in line 5, don't worry I will check it. line 5 ok I think I missed something here and one thing I also forgot to <coughs> include that function here include functions file here <coughs> sorry <coughs> so let me check this code now ok it's working fine so if I try to access Java it will respond with particular Java 299 so Java 299 on PHP must be 267 okay 267 if I try to access a random book it's returning null and if I try to access a some other function or some other parameters it should say invalid request so this is very basic web service and um, the second thing is you need to make this URL user friendly so when client is accessing this uh, request via URL the URL must be very user friendly so instead of saying uh, name is equals to C or name is equals to Java you should say something like this name slash C so it should uh, URL should be like this so we're going to convert the URL to like this uh, using HT access format so here I have already got HT access file here so this is very simple uh, we're just going to check um, whatever in the domain I mean after domain name we're going to convert this to sorry we're going to route this to index.php slash on name so I'm going to save it as dot HT access file in my rest folder 
so I'm going to save it as dot ht access so it will route URLs so now instead of saying rest um, that question mark name is equal to something I can directly add rest slash c so it's working now so URL is very friendly now so slash 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 java so that's it uh, it's very pretty cool and simple um, book not found same thing so this is very very basic simple but we have just created a web service now which is delivering the response and in next tutorial I'm going to show you how to consume this web service as I told you we should not access this web service via browsers so we should access this web service via uh, your program so that's the main functionality of web service so in next tutorial I'm going to show you how to consume this web service in some other programs using curl implementation so thanks for viewing if you have any doubts or if you are facing any problems just comment here uh, I will respond as, as soon as possible